Hi there, and welcome to another quick look. Today we'll be looking at SOLIDWORKS electrical libraries and how to access them. My name is Alex Cock. I'm the Territory Technical Manager for the ANZ, and we shall just take a quick look at today's agenda. Now, how do we access the online libraries? First, we we'll talk about what it really is, what they contain, and then of course we're going to move on to how do we get in because that's obviously the question that we would like to find out for today and we'll do a quick wrap up that's what we are going to do for today's presentation now what is it essentially the online libraries is a collection of thousands literally of um, electrical specific components and symbols that we as SOLIDWORKS electrical users can download and repurpose for our needs that's what it is what's more important of course is how do we get in and that we are going to have to take a look at it from the SOLIDWORKS electrical standpoint. So here we are in the SOLIDWORKS electrical 2D environment. To access the online library portal all we need to do is to go up to the library tab on the top here and select manufacturer parts manager. In the corresponding dialog box that appears after you click it you will have this option called online content now ensuring that beforehand that your internet connection is actually active when you click this icon what you'll be brought up to is the splash page for three very interesting links that would be very handy for a SOLIDWORKS user for today we will concentrate only on the SOLIDWORKS electrical portal now clicking on this link brings you to the main page of the electrical content portal of course, if this is your first time here, you will need to register. After you have registered, all you need to do is to enter the relevant credentials, as I'm showing you here, and hit enter. That's how you get into the electrical content portal. So in summary, to address the question of how do I get in, all you need to do is to access the relevant link via the SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D application. Make sure you've signed up and you log in through the library link that you find on the system itself. So to wrap up to this presentation, I guess the usual question of what's next. And what's next? It's quite simple actually. First, of course, just to recap, you go to the relevant little icon on the top there that says online content under the manufacturer parts manager to access the online content. Of course, to find out more, please contact your SOLIDWORKS um, VAR or of course you could go to your www.solidworks.com to find out more information about whom you should be contacting. And of course, as always, don't forget about mysolidworks.com where you get a lot more libraries, not necessarily electrical specific ones only, but SOLIDWORKS libraries in general. So what's up next? Now that we've taken a look at how we can get into the libraries, my next presentation that's going to follow this one is to look at what you get once you're online. What you get to do, what you get to access, and how you can benefit from it. And with that, I thank you for your time. My name again is Alex Cock. I'm the Territory Technical Manager for the ANZ. Have a good day.